a particular topic a few uh, few sessions ago. Uh, I want you to see this video, please. See how the bulb is flashing its light, right? How everything is changing alongside on the right side, you can see you know, there's a little movement in this video. Yeah. So there's something coming in, there's something going. This is a very, very simple form of animation, but this really changes the game of your presentation. So you've got a little action happening. There's a trophy that's jumping up and down. All these become a part of making a simple, simple animation much more interesting. Great. So I'm going to also start showing you how we did this. Uh, well, let me start with a few basics of um, the tool that we're using today to create animations. Maybe some of you are familiar with it and maybe some of you are not familiar with the, with the kind of work that it can do. So I'm going to share screen and take you to Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, or whatever you all might have. And I'm going to click on canva.com. Now Canva is a word many of you might have heard before. Um, here. Uh, so before I start in taking you straight into the animation journey that Canva allows us to do, um, I'm going to tell you five, six basics uh, about Canva because some of you might have, have used it before. Uh, so this is my website, canva.com. And um, you can simply sign up for Canva and start watching this. Okay, so here we are on canva.com and we, we're going to create a design. Um, you can just simply sign into Canva with an email address and a password and get started. Uh, when we create any design in Canva, it's important for me to tell you the basics before I uh, jump to the animation. So here we are. Uh, let's just create any graphic. So let's say, take something as simple as a card because we will be creating a presentation in about five minutes from now. So when we pick on a card that we click on, there's, there's a full toolkit that opens up on our left side, right? Here you can see this templates, this photos, there are elements, this text, video, backgrounds, uploads, folders, more. We're going to reach all of that in just five minutes. Uh, now, when we want to create a basic uh, design on Canva, we could take a ready-made template. So there are options of templates. Um, and I could pick anything, um, let's say a, a card, uh, like a photo card of a country. So let's like, say a postcard, right? So I can click on Indonesia and make this Australia. I can change the date here. I can write clicked by Professor Lewis. Right. And so basically it's allowing us to change text, uh, change the color of the text as uh, there are options uh, right here. When we click on the text, we can change the color to anything we'd like. Maybe I can make it pink for now. And there we have a pink colored Australia. Um, I can make the size smaller and move it to the corner so that more people can see the picture and so on and so forth. So there are a lot of options, simple options that Canva allows you to create wonders from uh, be it a simple card to an infographic to a presentation. Um, I'm going to use some of these elements, uh, but I wanted you to see um, it in a more basic way before we animate. Um, so on the left, there are a lot of photos that are available to us. We can also upload a personal picture We're using upload and put anything we'd like here. Okay, so we can upload any picture that we would like. So let's say I select an image of a graphic that I've put here. I can also change the background. Now this is a picture. So changing the background in this would, would not really, um, you know, you can't change the picture like that. But what I can do is remove the picture a little. If I want to write my entire text on the left, I can click on this background color and I can change it either to a simple color or go to the background on the left and change it to a different kind of a texture that works for us, right? Or another gradient or an abstract. So there are a lot of options here that we can use uh, for backgrounds. Uh, again, coming to videos, videos also allows you to either upload a video that you want to do or like a personal video or select, I'm gonna add a new page here, or select another another video and see if I want to include this as a part of my presentation. 
So this could be a video for starting your day early. The person has a coffee shop next to him and we're, we've got, he started work early. So, you know, you want to wake up early and start work early to be productive. Here's your video clip. Yeah. So this is just an example for the same. Okay. Um, now we've talked about text. We've talked about photos. Now there's a difference between photos and elements, which is as simple as photos are pictures and elements are mostly like clip arts. So if I click, um, I'm going to go back to photos and write water here. In photos, I'm going to get options of seeing pictures of real water. Uh, as you all can see here in my search. The minute I click on elements, I get the option and I write water. You can see the different kind of options it's given me. So it's given me a more clip art option where I need to show a water indicative and not a real picture of water. That's the key difference between, between photos and elements and text we've talked about. Now, straight, let me run into creating a presentation. So today we're going to teach you two kinds of presentations. One animation, which is going to be the kind of animation uh, which I just showed you in a presentation to add animation, how to download a product as an animation. I'm also going to teach you something very interesting called stopwatch motion, right? So um, let me start with animation. So I go back to Canva and I click on a presentation. So uh, as educators, we need to present um, material to our students and we need to do it in a, like we talked about, the attention span is reduced so much nowadays that we need to make sure that our presentations in our e-learning space and even later, uh, our presentations stand out and it looks interactive and it basically get absorbed, gets absorbed by the students really well. Um, and similarly for students who are presenting, uh, you know, for making your presentation stand out, it's important that we create something that will, uh, you know, be effective and good. So I'm going to pick a template from here, right here. There are a lot of templates. Um, so either, for instance, I can pick a template that says eighth grade math. Okay. And I'm going to apply all the pages. So this is a presentation. Now Canva has ready presentations for a lot of, lot of subjects. Um, and also a lot of designs. That's more important because the subject can be changed by any of us at any time. Uh, I'm going to pick up this presentation. Uh, this is, you know, for instance, I did for a math teacher. Now you can change the content, anything you'd like. If you are a ninth grade teacher, you can click on this, make it ninth grade. Or if you're a kindergarten teacher, you can make, change that. Uh, welcome to the class of 2020. That's the year we are in. And we're going to write Mr. Thomas, Mrs. Thomas, sorry. And I'm going to go to the second page and write the class syllabus as it's written. Uh, like we've said before, and I'd like you to let you know, in Canva, you are the person who has control of everything. Um, the person who's making the presentation, the person behind the design has control of everything. So like I moved uh, these to a black dot design, I can also change the color of that to blue, or to one line, another line uh, to a brown, another line to, let's say, a, another kind of blue and so on. So you are the decision maker on how your design should be. If you don't like this, you want to make it big for any good reason or you want to delete it, it's absolutely up to you. The entire class presentation design can also be changed. So if I click on background, click on anim, uh, the color code, I can change it to green and then it straight away uh, would also like to give me the option. Um, so I'm going to change another color of another background to green as well. And it's going to give me the option to change here. So it recognizes that you made two changes of color. So maybe you want to change the entire yellow, the entire presentation into, into a green. So it's done that in just a flash of a second. Now I'm going to undo this by pressing control Z. I'm, I'm going to tell you a few shortcuts in just a moment. Um, and here we are, uh, before I animate this simple presentation, I'm just going to come to chat and see if there's anything that uh, we want to talk about. Is there any, any questions here? Just a moment. Is anyone with everyone with me? Here we are. So can I see the chat? Um, yeah, okay. Uh, Manami, I hope I'm audible to you. I'm going to speak a little louder. Uh, I hope I'm audible to you. Okay, great. So no questions so far. So I'm going to continue uh, uh, using Canva to teach you animation. Here we are. Um, so we just created this um, 
you know, we took a template ready from uh, the Canva presentation option. So for an educator, it's an interesting template talking about the year ahead in um, for math for ninth grade. Um, now I'm going to, if you click on this and see on the left, there's an option called animate. Now, when I click on animate, what does it give me? Now, these words will be probably a little familiar to some of you who've used a PowerPoint presentation ever, because PowerPoint always gives us two, three options and, you know, to fade or to move away or to block, uh, you know, the transition as they call it in animation. So when we click on animate, I've clicked on the first slide and I've clicked on animate. What I can do is rise. Rise. Now, so what happens is I click on rise or I can click on tumble. So that's how tumble, you see, it's showing you how it works. Now, if I click on fade, that's what it's showing me that on my screen, that's how it's going to fade and come ahead. I liked tumble. I think it's fun for a younger classroom, nine, uh, ninth grade. Tumble is fun. It's looking uh, like something I like. So what I can do is I've applied tumble to this. Now, I can go to page two. Click on this. When I click on animate, sorry, animate, not on color. I can make it rise, right? So I can change the animation the way I like it to any page. So I'm gonna go down to the next page and my third page, I'm gonna animate it even more differently, pop. Okay, so here we are. So I've given three pages, three totally different animations the way I wanted it to. Now let's see what it looks like. The 12 pages I do understand. I want to show you this uh, animation because there's a lot I want to teach you. So I'm going to show you how it happened in the first three slides when we click on present. When we click on present, it gives us the option. Uh, you want to do standard, um, autoplay. Now what happens with standard is if you're giving a presentation to a big corporation, a standard works well because while you explain every slide, you want to run at your own pace. So standard allows you to advance at your own pace. So till you click on the next, it will not go to the next slide. Um, I'm going to click on autoplay, but I, because I think for smaller, you know, for a student audience, autoplay is fun unless I'm talking about something very, very serious. So if this was a lecture on integration, I would definitely recommend that you keep it standard. So every page, every student, depending on their speed, will click on the next. But if it's talking about syllabus and you're giving a guideline, let's make it a little fun and keep, I'm going to make the slides uh, two sl seconds per slide and present it. Here I have, here, see, now without me touching, my hands are up, I hope you all can see, my hands are up, and it's automatically presenting. Now this is page four, five, six, and there's not much happening in this because we've not given an animation guideline. I'm gonna escape this, and once again tell you something so simple we did. Okay, great. So I'm back on this page, and I'm going to click on animate once again. So what we did uh, two, three minutes ago, is that in this presentation of 12 pages, on the first page, we gave the option of, uh, in animation, we selected tumble. I think uh, page two, we selected rise, and page three, we selected another kind of animation called pop. So uh, let's um, tumble the entire, entire presentation. So when I click on animate and say tumble, for this slide, it also asks me if I want to apply the same to all the pages. Then what happens is that you don't have to go page by page. If you're clear that you want one kind of animation to move on, then I can apply the same to all the pages, right? And now let me go back to present. Like I said, again, uh, since it's not, um, you know, it's not a study material, we're just talking about what we're going to teach in the year. Let me click on autoplay once again, and let me present. Now you'll see that every page is going to go through a tumble animation. And this is two seconds per view. Okay, now as a student, I'm not understanding anything because I think two seconds was too less. No problem. What you need to do, go back to animation. When you click on present and you click on autoplay, make it five seconds. The decision is up to you and there I present. Now it's not going to go as fast as it was. It's gonna take five seconds to tumble out and here's this another second page that's coming. This is the green color of the background that we selected for page two. Here we are. Now at least I can read what Galileo said. And I'm here to see the course overview. So this is taking five, five seconds to move on to this. Now, do you all think that animation 
did you all think that animation could be so simple to be able to present to your students and they're going to be like wow this is such an exciting presentation right so why don't i have a little conversation here with you on chat i want to understand from you did you all think just a moment i'm going to stop share for a moment and come to chat here yeah so yeah questions i'm glad i was waiting for this okay now mercy why is it that you could not find the heading animate i'll tell you why and i was coming to that so what happens is canva is a free software and it gives us lots of options to design i went to cards it didn't have any problem i went to card i went to you know i've been to presentations before lot of options and i'll create a presentation out of a free link as well um now this of course is a pro version and i also want to tell you that before i even thought of presenting a pro version to you wondering you know you all must not you don't have to buy this um pro version is free of uh, the available for 30 days trial before you actually have to buy it so for all of you who are viewing this presentation today and they think they that you know this is really adding a little zing to your presentations adding a you know life to your presentations as we defined animation as earlier um then you should try it for 30 days and only if it's making enough you know a uh, sense for your content then you should go ahead and buy it so before i came in here to teach you all animation i wasn't going to be here to teach you all of software which is pre paid already i want to tell you that there is a 3 day 30 free day uh, 30 day option for a free trial is why you all can enjoy this animate option for 30 days before you actually decide if it's worth it see as an educator our presentations are non stop as a student of specially higher studies um today ib schools expect presentations when you're in grade 2 but for traditional schooling um the presentation start on higher education so if you're a student who's in higher education be it 9th grade onwards uh you could probably find this very very useful so the reason must you didn't find it right now is that you haven't opted to try the free version that's why you couldn't find it free. animate heading um we'll come and show you the pricing also of canva in just a bit um can we have multiple animation on one slide a uh, professor uh, Pr pretty rose no i'm sorry um i'm afraid that's not possible uh, we can't have one and that will make it too hodgepodge that one you know something is sliding and, and all of that so if when you are working on a presentation uh, we can't have five different kinds of animation on the same slide um vinita are you asking me to answer what your question is one, only pages can be animated or few things also certainly things can also be animated and i'm going to teach you that in just a few minutes um not shown video and slide download i'm going to or show you that as well manoj um uh, manoj is asking that you we can't see you're not showing video slide in download slide i'm going to come to the video as well um okay mitali are there any other applications like canva for presentation is canva upgrade presentation they there are of course a lot of options for presentations in the in the market uh what happens is um at some point we all get comfortable with a kind of a software which gives you a great uh, uh you know format uh they, they you know when we started the whole internet generation there was yahoo there was you know readif mail but somehow it just seems like 80% of the world's population is choosing to be with google it just so happens so it's honestly a uh, really a software that you get comfortable with and the interface has to be good so um as a user of canva for years i would say that even when i started uh, many many years ago canva uh the interface seemed very very simple and uh, we are here to learn things that will make our lives simpler so when it allows me to make a card for a friend in one minute or a mothers day card for my mother or a presentation um or an infographic for a school project it just makes it much easier as it gives me a lot more options so um of course there are lots of presentation options is canva paid application yes i just answered that as well uh, canva has enough for everyone in the free version but yes for animation uh, there are fewer versions uh, options in the free version uh, but there is a 30 day free trial going on right now that you can try and only if you think that it's going to work for you for much longer you can purchase it okay is it it is not compulsory to purchase it after tri trial period i just got that question i'm coming back to the presentation now um okay so i'm going to go to share screen and go back to um here the ninth grade presentation we were at okay um here we are so this was the animation we showed now when i go to the download option as someone was asking 
Um, so this was for present. Now when I went to present, like I said once again, this standard, you advance at your own pace. That means till you click on the next button, you're not going to have the option. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go to something called this arrow with a, a downward arrow. Now this shows you how to download your presentation. You have the option of a PNG. Uh, so PNG is a high quality image. So if it's a presentation of 12 pages, it's only going to pick one page or it's going to pick 12 different images. Uh, and if you are doing a presentation, you don't want that. However, if you're making a card, you can always use the high quality uh, image, which is PNG or JPEG, whichever works for you. So a PNG is high quality and JPEG is slightly smaller size. Uh, so if, it is a, if it's a card for your friend, you should download it on JPEG and send it on WhatsApp. It's going to be just great. Uh, but if it's a, a, let's say a certificate to a student, maybe PNG would be better because it is a high quality image. Coming down to PDF standard. Uh, now, when you're teaching animation or, or, or when you're sort of taking out a presentation or downloading an animated presentation, a PDF standard would not be recommended as if you're not allowing the video to go on. So PDF standard is a small file size with multiple page documents. So what happens is we a flat presentation which has no animation uh, should be downloaded in PDF standard. A PDF print is if you want to print the same so the clarity is much more. Uh, video. So let's click on video and see how this plays out. Yeah, somebody asked Manoj, I think it asked if we click on video, how does this play out? So let's download this. It's saying preparing a design and let's see how it plan pans out on a video. And I'm also going to after that show you one more option of how this is going to work. I'm just while it's preparing my design, I'm going to come back um, to the chat. Um, now, uh, I've, I've said that earlier as well. This is an interactive session. So please throw in as many questions as you'd like to. Meenu Juneja, definitely ma'am, we can add background music and I'm going to be teaching you that very, very soon. Uh, so while it's preparing design, see it, now if you notice since it's a video, it takes a while to prepare the design. It's going to take about a minute or two. Um, okay, great. So here we are. So coming back to um, you know Canva as a product, uh, for us uh, gra as graphic designing, for one can choose any product to animate. Um, we, we're teaching you it, it, this software today only just to ensure that, you know, you are able to um, pick on a template, which is easy and quick. Uh, that is one uh, reason where, you know, um, at Max Skills, we often tend to use Canva because it's quick. And we also think that it's uh, great for the audience to, we all have so many things to do today in COVID times. Uh, you know, we have so many uh, professors working from home. And there's so much to do, be it uh, getting out there and purchasing for the house, taking care of children, ensuring they're engaged, and so many things to do. And between that, if to make a heavy presentation, we'll have a lot of uh, you know, things to do. It's going to make our lives only tougher. So we want to make it simpler. We want to uh, make it simpler for our students. We want to make it simpler for our teachers. Uh, everyone has to view this, have their attention span. So. You know, even as a, somebody who is a professional today, advertising, as you would see, uses a lot of animation. And that is only to keep your attention span here. Uh, while this is downloading, I'd also like to tell um, some of you, some of you have been with us on the offline journey as well, where we've gone to colleges um, here in Mumbai and taught. Uh, and of course, the online journey. We have taught over 5,000 students in just, uh, sorry, when I mean students, I mean uh, educators, principals, teachers, students, everybody included. Um, in the past two weeks, we've taught more than 5,000, uh, uh, you know, unique individuals um, on our journey. And I'm just so glad that uh, many of you have been in our journey where we've taught you Google Classroom. We've had sessions where we've taught you how to teach on Zoom, uh, something which is really the need of the hour today, um, for, be it for a teacher, be it for a tutor who's a home tutor and want to teach, be it art online or uh, um, honestly in the in a round where I see tabla teachers are also moving online and they're teaching online. For someone like that as well, to, to be able to um, you know teach online, we, we've taught them Zoom. Uh, Google Classroom has been uh, you know a big uh, tool that a lot of people wrote to us that they want to learn as well. And we've taught many of the Google Classroom in our previous classes. Uh, we've done a national level faculty training and development program. Uh, we've had, you know, like I said, so many educators uh, with us. We've had a lot of international faculty 
giving keynote speeches in the past as well, uh, which is great. We've also run an international three-day blended program where we've taught Edmodo, which is another wonderful tool for teachers to feel like they're actually in a college or an institution. Uh, well, we're going to continue more about that in a bit. Our video is almost downloaded. Um, and uh, I was just brushing uh, some of our uh, previous conversations here to let you know and keep you informed of what we all do and we continue to do. So here our video is downloaded. And I'm going to click on this and see. Let's see if we can see our video. Ninth grade math. Now let's see how this plays out. So we, we clicked on tumble, that's exactly how it's coming up on. And we'd applied it to also, that's how it's going to be. So what you previewed in your animation, that is what you have downloaded as a video, right? So your entire presentation is now downloaded as a video. Uh, in the start of the class, I showed you all a, an animated uh, video and that's exactly how I had downloaded the same, right? So this I can close for now. Okay, just a moment. Okay, I'm gonna come back to Canva. Now, the two things I want to teach you right now, I want to teach you stop motion. I also want to teach the music, how to bring in music to this right now. Okay, so let's bring in music to this presentation. Uh, please don't mind, I've picked up a ninth grade math conversation. The conversation on your presentation could be absolutely anything, uh, be it uh, COVID guidelines for this, for the educators to come to school and you know it could be university guideline of uh, for across india or across you know your university if the topic could be anything i've picked a generic topic uh, just for you all to see as educators and uh, for students as well so now when i go down in my toolbox uh, uh, we talked about video we talked about background uploads charts folders and more we have the option to uh, click on music and i'm going to show you that just a moment here so of course this is a pro version and i'm going to show you the music option just a moment so any video that we uh here sorry i missed that right under text was my music option so i clicked on music and what they've done is uh they've got a series of like they have enough templates on this in this website they have enough uh, music options in different kinds. So it says epic, or uh, this travel, this trap, piano. Uh, there are terms not all of us will always easily understand. Even I don't understand some of these terms. I'm not sure what trap music is, but it's worth finding out. So it's your exploration time, right? So uh, since it's ninth grade math, maths, I'm going to pick up something that is um, soft to the eye. Uh, maybe a waltz. And then let's see when we present it. How does it add up? I'm going to make the slides two, two seconds for each slide. Can you, can you, are you enjoying the music that's coming at the back? Right. Uh, can you all mention on chat if you can see, uh, if you can hear the music? Just a moment. I'm going to just check the chat. Okay, great. Um, how's, Okay, cannot hear the music. Thanks, Mithali. I was just checking on that. No problem. So I'm going to download this video and then show you the music because I was very clearly able to hear uh, the music or I'm going to try and present once again and see if this will help. No, I think you. Yeah. Can you all hear the music now? It's uh, the it's walled, so it's a little softer, and it eventually gets louder. Okay, I think this music was a little, uh, you know, it's it's walled, so it was a little softer. So let's pick a happy song, okay? Which is just a moment. Okay, so I'm going to, I I put in something softer, but just to give you an idea, let's put something which is um, drop and add music. So I'm going to pick up this here. I've chained this music and I'm going to make sure that they're from the beginning. Absolutely. 
and I'm going to play it one more time and see how it is. Okay, just a moment. Okay, now, uh, of course, you must be seeing that your screen is going too fast. That's because when I added the music, I just want to show you that how the music plays and, you know, makes it lively. So I made uh, the animation two seconds. Uh, so remember that we have to present it uh, and we have to play it. Even if you want it 10 seconds, you have to play it accordingly. So, so putting music to this animation has been as simple as one, two, three. We have picked the music and we've dragged and dropped it here. So it's very, very simple like that. Um, you can pick, there are lots of options here. And of course, you could also upload a song uh, and play the same as well. Uh, so I'm going to now move to a different kind of animation. So just before I move on, I want to ask you all. Um, now, this was a simple presentation, which we have learned how to animate, right? Um, I'm going to stop sh screen share and ask you all a few questions that I like before I move to something called stop motion. Let's talk a little bit. Uh, what profession uh, are you all in? Could you just write on chat? What profession are you in, please? Yeah, could you, yeah, teaching. Thank, okay, Benita, you're in teaching, okay. Okay, Pushpa is also teaching. Shub, you're a student, wonderful. Remember to impress your teacher with an animation presentation next time. Master trainer, wonderful, Sana. Great, so a lot of you from teaching business. Samir's in the business uh, line, and we've got, oh, wow, a lot of teachers here, a lot of lecturers. Indian music teaching, Kapilesh, you must start online classes as well. Join us to learn Google Classroom or Zoom someday, and you should put your uh, classes online. Researcher, wonderful. Great. Preeti's also a teacher, so a lot of teachers. Manisha, your home tutor. Uh, so again, you have to, uh, you know, I think the first... Uh, 15 days of uh, COVID, when it hit us, we all realized that it's okay. We're having a little bit of a different format. So we're going to enjoy a little bit of home time. But 15 days later, we all realized that we have to, our children are waiting for us. And, you know, for all you lecturers as well, everyone's waiting. The students are waiting. How long are they not going to learn? And you all came and you all try to learn new e-learning platforms uh, to find ways to learn. That's wonderful. Great. Uh, so, so, well, uh, if I uh, get up, I would have done a poll if we were 400 or 400 of us or more, which we've had before. Uh, but because we've kept the classroom small, I wanted to have, make this a little interactive. Um, can we have a few of you? So um, I'm going to unmute one or two of you to just talk about uh, one or two things. Uh, we wanted to understand from you, in what context to your work area will you have animation applicable? So let's pick any four people. Uh, can I uh, request Mr. Um, um, Professor Minu Juneja? I'm going to unmute you. Why don't you tell us in what context in your work will you have animation applicable? Uh, are you there? Uh, Ms. Juneja, are you there? Or let's take um, Debbie. Uh, anyone who would like to answer this, why don't you put it on chat and then I'll unmute you because I'm not sure if you all can hear me at the same time. Uh, yeah, so I, I was asking once again, in what context in your work area will you have animation applicable according to you? So I'd like to unmute a few of you. Maybe Prachi Vedekar. Prachi, would you like to, um, would you like to tell us? Uh, I can't hear you, Prachi. Uh, I'm trying to unmute you. Are you unmuted? Sorry, you would like to answer. So, Benita, I'm just trying to find you in just a moment in my participant list. And I'm, I've, I've unmuted you, Benita. Can you unmute yourself as well? Yeah. Yeah. You're unmuted. So, Benita, uh, why don't you tell us? Yeah. 
yeah we can hear you now oh thank you so much yeah, uh, so i'm going to use this i teach grade 1 students so i think this is going to help me uh, they are always excited to see yeah animated things so absolutely I... you're absolutely right uh, you know we talked about adults uh, attention span children attention span is probably 2 seconds and if they see anything animated then it's probably 2 hours you know it's uh, really uh, important uh, especially for younger children yes. they like the jumping colors yes and thanks to you and your team because the pre previous sessions also i attended and i have learned a lot and it's helping me in my online classes thank you so much we're so glad we're so glad um we're so glad to have you um we're going to take dr chakravarty i'm going to unmute you you want to say something yeah i have unmuted you dr dr chakravarty i've just unmuted you are you with us Okay, till that happens, I, I'm going to. Yeah, Dr. Chakravarty, you can speak. Hello, good morning, host. Uh, hello, hi. Uh, it's a wonderful. Hello. Yes, Am we I can hear you. Absolutely audible. Hi, this is. Uh, uh, okay, uh, it's a. Uh, Uh, I'm so happy to be a part of this kind of program, as because I'm uh, completely associated with uh, higher education students. I don't get any uh, kind of association with this kind of um, uh, sessions till now. But uh, actually, what I feel um, at present situation that a uh, lot of online classes we have to take, and uh, if even if we don't like, we have to be a compelled to get associated with online classes and. Uh, as uh, we have to um, get ourselves presented in different uh, webinars seminars and conferences the papan presentation is a must so uh, this is going to be a very um, useful uh, for me as i have joined and uh, it's a wonderful presentation for part and your team i'm really enjoying it thank you so much thank you so much uh, we are just going to take one last uh, you know thought from uh, dr deborina dasgupta and um, uh professor little we are just going to come to you because we are teaching uh professor little has a question how is animation in canva different from powerpoint well you're going to see both sides of it today we're teaching you canva and tomorrow in powerpoint you're going to see the different efforts uh and the effects and you're going to be able to answer that yourself if not tomorrow we're going to discuss powerpoint and at the end of it we will all be able to uh, see that clearly and you know like i said there are a lot of options in uh, presentations and in making animation uh, you'll see how uh, you know canva is different from powerpoint so i'll wait for to answer that question i'm just going to unmute dr debolina and then i'm going to teach you stop motion animation dr debolina ask a prayer yeah hello yeah, how, hello ma'am yeah yes yeah um Uh, it's really a pleasure to attend all the you know kind of sessions which you have kept. I've attended every sessions of yours, and it's really enjoyable. Uh, I basically I am teaching for past uh, decade uh, in field of journalism and mass communication. So this field is uh, you know a very happening field. So uh, this presentation and the session which I'm undergoing really oh, helping me a lot in getting lot many videos in the field of journalism and mass communication. So thanks a lot for. Uh, the lovely sessions uh, and the really the all the explanation are in a, carried out in a very simple way so that's the best and unique part of your sessions uh, thanks a lot thank you so much uh, we're so glad that from an indian music teacher to uh, you know for teachers who are able to teach students who are as young as uh, you know pre nursery we're so glad and now we're going to show you something very exciting as well so we learned a basic presentation in terms of how to animate it now i'm going to pick a presentation and show you something called stop motion video it's something many of you would have probably seen in ads but not have recognized it so i'm going to close this presentation for now and go to canva and start a new presentation and i'm going to not start with a template i'm going to start with an absolute blank presentation so i want you all to focus on the computer with me okay so this is a blank page uh now i'm going to find uh phone so no sorry i don't want a template of a phone i'm going to go to elements and find a phone okay and let's say let's take this phone okay 
or let's take the blue one because our background is not set yet. So I've got this blue phone right in front of me and I've kept it on the side. Okay. Now I'm going to pick another product. Uh, let's pick a, let's pick a fruit. Let's pick a strawberry. It's not really in season where we are right now. Let's pick a strawberry. So the reason I'm going to elements and not photos is I'm going to show you, um, you know, like a fun animated um, thing that we're going to create from scratch. So let's pick a strawberry. Which one should we pick? So maybe this one. Okay. So I've got this strawberry and now I'm going to animate and make the strawberry into the phone. Okay. Ah, so. Some of you, uh, if you knew in the 90s, 60s, uh, 1950s, you know, back in the day when they created Tom and Jerry and mother, many other cartoons, it was a lot of work because, uh, and when they didn't have animation. So what they had to do, what they had to really do was um, pick up, uh, you know, draw the same thing over and over again. Uh, and when you flip through the pages, the animation sort of continues. So they had to draw repeatedly every action. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. And we're going to do it really um, quickly because we have the option to just go and copy a page. So I've copied that page by going up. I'm just going to show you once again. This is what I had created. Okay. And I have copied the page. Just a moment. Just hold on one second, please. Yeah, sorry, I was here. Oh, okay, so I started from a blank page, but I bought in a uh, phone and a strawberry together. Now on the second page, so how did I do this? I'm going to delete that page right now. I have a single page right now. I just, there's a, right above my page, there's something that shows a copy icon. So I'm going to copy the page. I want to copy the page. I'm going to move it, the strawberry a little closer to the phone. And I'm going to animate it in the sense I'm going to just rotate it a little bit. Now I'm going to copy this second page. Okay, and I'm going to move the strawberry a little closer. I'm going to hop her around a little left, a little right. So all I'm doing is that I'm changing the motion of the strawberry to move closer to the phone. And I keep just copying the page where it was last. And I copy it again and I bring the strawberry closer. And I rotate her so that it walks into the phone in a fun way. I copy this page. I bring the strawberry even closer. Copy it again. So you see I'm on my eighth page now. I have just copied every latest page and moved this strawberry much closer to the phone. Something in olden times an artist would have to draw time and again. I'm on page 11 for all of you to see. Now I'm about to enter the phone. Okay. Here we are. If you can see, the strawberry is right next to the phone. And now what I'm going to do, so let's see what my last image was like. Yeah, so my last image, the strawberry was touching the phone and here I am. I'm going to take the strawberry into the phone. Okay. Now, I want to show a different image to walk into the phone. So let's see how that's done. I'm going to pick another image of a strawberry. Let's say this one. Mm, or perhaps this one. Something that's similar to the strawberry that I've already picked. Yeah, I think this would be fine. Maybe I can even take something like this. Okay, let's take this. Now, I've, I'm, this is a strawberry that I eventually want inside my phone. Okay, so I'm going to click on the red strawberry and I'm going to crop it. Now, I'm going to crop it just a little bit and I'm going to turn it around so that it is looking like it's entering the phone. Can you all see that the strawberry is attached to the phone? Now this strawberry, the one I want here, I'm going to put on top of it and I'm going to crop this new animated strawberry just still here and I'm going to sit down. So here it is. I've moved it inside the phone so it doesn't look like it's above. And I'm also going to resize it to look like it's a part of the same strawberry that's entering. Can you all see what I've just done? 
I'm going to repeat this cropping process and it's going to repeat itself again in the next page as well. Okay. Uh, just stay with me for now. I'm going to copy this latest picture again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the red strawberry further in. And I'm doing all of this to eventually let it show like an animation. I'm going to get it closer and I'm going to crop further. So the, a cool feature is that every time I'd like to crop, um, I have to crop the entire image comes up no matter when I want to do it. Even if I want to use this image after closing my presentation and use it three days later and I want to crop it a little extra, the full image will show in front of me and I can choose to crop it lesser or more. So I'm going to crop it till the edge of the phone again. And I'm going to crop it like this. Okay. Now, you might think that I'm only left with a very small piece of my black and white strawberry. But when I double click, the entire strawberry is shown. So like I said, this that's the feature of the product like that Canva allows us. And I'm going to make it a little bigger from, by stretching it from both sides. And I'm going to say done. So again, you, you feel that the strawberry is complete and it's sort of entering into the phone. Do you see that I have not touched the blue line? See, the phone has an outline of blue. I've not touched that because I don't want you to feel that the strawberry is going from ahead of it right it's looking like the strawberry is walking into it and you i'm again what did i just do i'm going to delete this the last page i just copied now here it is the strawberry I double click on it again and i take it much much closer inside just a moment before cropping it i'm going to take it much closer inside i'm basically making my red strawberry disappear by cropping it again and again Again, I'm not going to touch the blue line. There it is. I'm going to double click on my black and white strawberry. And I'm going to start showing you more of the black, black and white clip art strawberry. Now, once, one moment, please. Now, this is how it was done. I'm going to move. The moment. This is how it's going to be now, right? What was the last image like? Ha, and now it's almost full. It looks like I should crop it a little more. Do you see why I'm trying to crop it a little more? Just because the black of the strawberry is coming onto the blue. So I'm going to again click on this clip art strawberry. It looks like a work of patience and I promise you it is. But when you're gonna see the result, you're gonna love how you've just animated something so simple. So here's the strawberry and I'm going to double click and now I'm going to remove the strawberry completely. And here I have put the strawberry in. Okay. Now, just a moment. I don't want to crop it. I want it to be its original size. So done. Okay. So here's the strawberry in here. Now, you see, to do something like as simple as that, we're 15 slides down. Okay. Now I'm going to quickly run down before I even animate this. Just a moment. Yeah, do you see a little bit of movement there? Now I'm going to present it to you like this. No background color, nothing done so far. We're going to do all that in just a bit. I'm going to auto play it and move it to, let's say, two seconds per slide. And let's see how this looks. Strawberry is going in closer and closer to the phone. This is an animation made from scratch. We took a product and we animated it. See? Do you see? It feels like the strawberry is entering closer and closer. I'm going to stop that share. Also, I'd like, can you all please mute yourself? That would be wonderful. And I'm coming back to sharing screen. Here I was. Okay. So here's my design that I have created from scratch. I'm going to just see if there are any questions that, that are here right now. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Repeat it. Unable to see. Okay. Sure. I'm going to repeat it uh, from the beginning. I want to show you what it looks like. Uh, I'm also going to just add music to this and then go on to repeating it so that you can see. So here, um, for something like this, I definitely would pick a happy song. So let's play the, the song we played earlier. 
I have just dragged and dropped it to this presentation. No, this is not, no, not the banjo. I'll pick this up, okay? And I'm going to present it even faster. It's going to be one minute. Oh, sorry, one second per slide. And let's see how this looks. And so on. So it's going to loop itself and continue playing again and again. Now, the song's great for, um, we had a preschool uh, teacher here. Uh, children are love this. And well, the reason I was showing you something uh, so simple is only to show you the technique. Now, the same technique can be used, uh, you know, to show an aircraft that's going to fly off. It's going to be used for some, uh, near, uh, you know, uh, astrophysics to show a chemical uh, coming out of, uh, you know, a test tube. So the topic really is, you know, for all of us as educators to put it, uh, we're teaching you concepts and how you apply that to your subject, of course, um, you know, be it chemistry, or we did, we saw math presentation earlier. And uh, what it seems like, uh, you know, that this, when I look at the strawberry and phone, our first image that comes to our mind is, so children are going to love it. But like I said, here is a concept. Uh, the application is going to be depending on each of your subjects. Um, this uh, strawberry here could have been a test tube and this could have been the hand of a professor. So you're going to show how the test tube is you know, sort of walking into the professor's hand and then he pulls it out and so on. So all of that designing uh, in, you know, in terms of work, of what you want to imply, the content you want to provide is of course always going to be in your hands. What the software is allowing us is only a tool to help us make our information, put our education to simplify it in a way that the person viewing it uh, is understanding it because as educators or as businessmen or as students, our idea is to put our idea forward, make sure it's well heard, well absorbed and understood, right? So um, I'm gonna just start from scratch once again on what I really did here. Uh, and let's just open a new page um, because I understand that this is an absolutely new topic, which is why we even decided to even split the groups. So I could answer your questions. Another professor could take another group of 60 and answer their questions. We want to be able to answer your questions and I'm going to show it once again. I'll see the chat as well. Um, yes, you can. You can download images from Google. This strawberry could have been an image from Google. Yes, a Salima. Okay. Kindly show strawberry with letter S. Surely we can pick a letter. And I also want to show you some of the ready animations that are available. So um, why don't I, I, I move the strawberry and I'll take an S for repeating this. Can we show molecular structures reacting with each other? Of course we can. Uh, yes, uh, we can. Um, uh, Dr. Hussain, I, I would love to show that. There are a few things that I want to show. I'm going to simply show the S right now. Uh, but the same thing, like I said, you can pick up a test you and do the same. Um, okay, can bring immense clarity. You're absolutely right, Aditi. It can bring immense clarity to a subject. Okay, uh, Benita, you're asking me once again to answer your question. I unable to spot it. Just a moment. Can we take a picture of kids or something and do something like this? Yes, you can take a picture and do something like this as well. Okay. Now um, I'm going to take a new page and I'll go to presentation once again. So I'm repeating what I've done. Uh, just now, um, you know, you know, I'm trying to kind of make it quick, but I also want you all to grasp it. I understand it's one uh, one o five, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you have something important to run to. So instead of a strawberry, or why don't I pick up an image from Google? Maybe you you'd like that more. So let me pick a letter S. So I'm going to answer two questions while I do this. I'm going to pick an image from Google, but I'm going to pick a letter S. So let's pick this colorful. One, I'm going to save the image. Okay, so I've saved this S and let's put the S into the phone. I'm not going to change too much um, so that you have a repeat of what I'm saying. I'm going to go to uploads, find where I've saved that S. And here it is in my downloads. Yeah, here's my S. Okay. And let's take the phone back again because I don't want to make too many changes to those who are keen to, for us to repeat it. So I'm going to pick up this S and take it here. 
Now this S has some stock image written here. I've just taught you how to crop. So I'm just going to crop this and make it. I also want to teach you a few shortcuts, uh, but let's see, we'll take out as much as we can in the next five, 10 minutes, okay? So I've bought an S now for, for, to answer some of those questions. Uh, how can we take an image from Google and do this? Yes, we can. I've just picked up an image. I picked up a letter for someone's convenience. Somebody wanted an S, but it is an image at the end of the day. And I'm going to go to elements again and pick up, uh, let's pick up the same phone, like I said, for, for those who I'm repeating the same concept to once again. So here we are, we have an S and a phone. Okay, let's make the phone even bigger. Okay, so here's our first slide. And now we copy this page onto the next. We move the S closer because we want to eventually get it there. Okay, and topple, make my S a little topsy-turvy for the fun of it. Open another page, get the S closer. Again, and this is up to you. If you, do, if you want it to be closer, uh, it could be a dog hopping to, you know, uh, its kennel. You don't have to make the, you rotate the dog because that might look funny. So you can keep the dog's image just the same and just keep bringing it closer to the kennel. So the idea is not that you have to do this to animate. Um, okay. So I'm, I, what I do is I keep copying the page and I keep bringing it closer, right? So now I'm gonna fit in the other S in a bit brought it in here, I keep taking it in, okay? And now I've sort of made it, I've sort of vanished it into here, okay? So right now we were just dealing with the S, which we were trying to take in. Now here I am, so I'm gonna take text and find an S, which is, let's see if there's a letter S. Maybe I'll go in elements and find the letter S. Okay. So I can go to elements and type a letter and it'll give me different kinds of letters. So why don't I pick something similar? Uh, the reason I'm picking something similar is that it'll look it like it's a part of it. So I'm gonna take something curvy, just like this one. I think this is pretty close. If I don't find something similar, I can absolutely, I can absolutely, uh, you know, make my own. I'm going to change the colors in this to a blue. Okay, I'm going to change it completely blue so we have, here's the S. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it as big as that. Okay. And I'm going to crop it in a way that only that much of it shows. This one, only that much shows. I'd like to crop this part of the S because only the bottom bump, according to me, uh, has come in. So I've only got the bottom bump here. I'm going to make it a little smaller and rotate it in a way that it's all straight, okay, coming straight in. Right? And therefore, so is the bump. Right, so it looks like it's connected. Getting it much closer. Okay, right? And I got to go to the next page and, uh, sorry, let me copy that S down. Here. Oh, maybe I can recreate it. I go down, I pick up the same S and maybe it's changed colors or maybe it's not. You can also see that if you wanted to change colors. I'm gonna crop this half here, done. And I'm taking this image, rotating it in a way that it looks like it's flowing with it. Maybe make it a little smaller. So you have to sort of gauge how your image um, is looking like it's fitting in. Like this looks like, a, like the S is fitting in just fine. And here in this, I put the S finally inside, okay? So we did this in eight slides, which is fine. 
right? I'm going to present this to you. I'm going to do it without music now. I've shown you how the music works on autoplay in about one second each time. Let's see what happens. I think you you weren't able to see. Let it uh, take a minute to load, uh, which is why you were not able to see the final S in the end. Just give it a minute. You'll be able to see it now. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to just do one more thing uh, since we added. I'm also going to put the background, which we didn't in the last last case. Um, let's take a background which is which has an effect. So I I go to backgrounds. And I just put a gradient background, let's say a pink background or something like that here. Okay, so now the reason I want to put a background like this is that if you see, because I've taken this image from Google, it has a white background. Now Canva gives us that option to take care of that immediately. I can go to effects after clicking on my image and there's something called background remover. Right. So if you all saw that if I picked up an element from Canva in itself, that there is no background on it already because they've made it like a PNG file. But any image that I might pick up from Google is likely to often have a white background, especially if it's a JPEG image. So here it is. I've removed the background in a second. I'm just going to go down, keep the same. Right. So to repeat the whole background effect. So I've put the same background. I've taken the S. I, I didn't do this in the beginning so that I could show you this step two, three times. Um, it has a white background. I remove the background and it just takes care of it on its own. So there is no problem. You can pick a, pick something from, um, yeah. Okay. So I, I do want to take another five of your minutes. Please be a little patient and I'm going to teach you just one more thing. Um, before you all, uh, yeah, so I've removed background. So I'm going to, I'm just going to remove background three slides. Okay. Just to give you an idea how it works. So I'm going to present this to you now. And then I want to show you videos uh, as well. So this doesn't have the background. So it looks like it's gone. Okay, for uh, so again, it's it is clearly a problem of loading, wherein this image is uh, taking its own time. Uh, it doesn't matter. We we can come back to that. But the idea was to teach you how it moves around. Uh, it's just taking a little time to load. See, when we're doing animation, that uh, is something we'll all have to take care of in terms of uh, being a little patient with its time to load. Um, and this is exactly how it's going to plan out. Uh, give me just one. Uh, two last minutes to run you through one more thing that I'd like to teach you all today here. So coming to a presentation. So I want to take like we picked up a presentation earlier, which had an animation in it, right? Or which uh, where we animated it. I'd like to take a template which already has an animation. Okay, so let me pick up something. Okay, here we are. Uh, meal prep hacks. I can see this banana is moving around. Um, let me just take it from the beginning okay. and I'll apply all the 10 pages. And this is a presentation where there's already some kind of animation happening. Now your question, first question would be, this is a banana, but what if I want to talk about an apple, right? Fair enough. Where do I get that image? Go to google.com. Just write apple or GIF images. Okay. I want to take a GIF image. So there are lots of directories available to get, get you GIF images. Okay, here I'm going to write Apple. So I'm going to get an image of a GIF of an Apple because we're trying to change the part of our presentation, which you know something we like. This is Apple TV. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the fruit. So let's see what we have here. The apple's running away or here. Let's get this Apple. Okay, that apple is being munched on. I'm going to right click and save this image. Hi, hello, hello, I can, I can, I can. Okay, so now here's, I'm going to save this. Okay, right, I'm going to save this and now I'm going to go back to that presentation which had the banana. 
here I am. I'm going to upload it and keep it ready and I'll tell you how we're going to change that. You, like I said before, you could be an educator in the field of geography, environment, history, nutrition, uh, chemistry, accounts, law, uh, communication, absolutely anything. Like right now, you know, this could be something a nutritionist is making, right? Now I'm going to delete the banana. So I have a meal prep hacks written here and I'm going to do something in the similar lines, but I want to do it with an apple. So all I did was I went to Google and I went to via Google to a website called jiffy.com and I picked out a GIF that works for me. I can probably give it a background. Click on this and reduce the size or whatever I want to do. Or continue keeping it in a white background and so on. So me prep hacks. Commit to eating well. I go to the next page. Can you see the small animation that's happening here on the plate? Now I can remove this. And I can't see anything because it was a white animation with a white background. And I'm going to go here. So you can go to photos here and just find fruit salad. Let's say, since we're talking about apples, let's pick a fruit salad and put it here. Okay. Now, again, I can't see my white animation. So I think I'm going to position this backwards. And now you could see. So there was already an animation ready in this. All I did was replace the image here. Right, And because I couldn't see it, it was white, I changed it to a different color. So you can do such simple things with a ready presentation as well. It says, research healthy recipes. Always eat fruit first. Right? So it's, going, it's getting highlighted on fruit. Let's say I just want to highlight on always. So I can always pick on something like this. Right? I'm going to um, just, um, you know, uh, to uh, start on uh, to close the session, I want to also just tell you one thing that when you go to photos and you write fruit, you can probably also get some animated options later. So you'll get some basic fruit options. And as you keep going down, you probably get some animated options as well. So keep searching, keep looking. You can also go to videos and search for something and you'll get the animation option as well. I can also write something as simple as animated animation and let's see what I get if I search for a photo of animation. Let's see what happens. Let's go down and see what all happens when I get. What are the kind of options I get if I click on photos and click on animation and I can do the same by going on to elements. So animation means a lot of animals do tend to come into this uh, screen which is fine. And we can go keep going down and eventually we will get some options for animation as well, right? Similarly, we can do the same with elements. When we click on elements and write animation, we're going to get start getting some options wherein we can pick from and start using them in our... Here we go. Just give us a minute. It always shows us enough animals before we can get to see the animation. I'm going to come on chat to see what you all are referring to see there we are okay so here always eat fruit first right let's change the background color of this to let's say a blue and i don't like this so much so i'm going to remove it and put this hand right here yeah remember always to eat fruit first so if i click on animation and elements i'll get a lot of these options and i can present them by clicking on present autoplay the presentation or down